Hey, Luis, how are you? Did you have a good day today? Did you have a good day today, Luis? Uh, my day? Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a, a great day. Stay here in my house. Yeah, you know, I, I, I like it. The English, study English. Um, but more, I help in the house too. Okay. So today you didn't have to leave the house. Hmm? Today you didn't have to leave the house. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. A, a, a teacher in my my. Do you watch my 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 or my picture? Uh, black color or or a color. No. <clears throat> no. Only the shirt. Okay. You have a black shirt, but the image is clear. My face is looking. Do you look my face? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. No problem. Nuri, do you see Luis's face? Yes. Yes. I oh, okay. No problem. It's very clear. Yes. Yeah, because my son changed the, the, the hardware and changed the camera. It's very different. It, for you, it's different. Uh huh. Yeah, it's uh -huh, different. Um, okay. Nuri, how was your day? Everything okay, teacher. And what did you do? Working. Like always, always. right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, sir. But I am okay. Thank you. Okay. You? Working, working, too. Always. Yeah, really, yes. Always a lot of work, a lot of... I have so many different activities and, and things to get done. Sometimes I feel like, oh, so many emails and reports and things to do. But yeah, it's the life, right? We have to work. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The good thing is that yeah, when we retire, we enjoy the life like Luis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, Luis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is okay, right? <laughs> yeah. Retire. Then it's no problem. <laughs> yes. I hope. I hope to 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 be able to retire, but mm, <laughs> always I, I am nervous in El Salvador. I think maybe the AFP, the money disappear. Yeah, it's fast. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then the government say, oops. I don't, don't know. know. I don't uh -huh. know what you say. You know. Uh -huh. Nobody exactly. knows. You know. Nobody knows. Uh -huh. Always, always is the previous. Lo de antes, lo de antes. I don't know. Uh -huh. Yeah, that is true. The, and the it's A, if, if. AFP, right? AFP, right? AFP, yeah. AFP, right? Now that's mm -hmm. the, the safe fund, right? Disappear. Yeah, always there's a little bit of, of problems and situations. In Latin, for example, that is a big problem in Latin, America Latin. Yes. Yeah. In many, uh, in, in, it, to be honest, in most countries, not only Latin America, uh -huh. but in most countries, because yeah, United the States country uh -huh. is not enough money to survive. In the United States, for example, the, the pension for Salvadorians is very, it's a lot. It's like $2,000. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. for Americans, $2,000 is nothing. It's nothing. Because right. only the yeah. rent, only the rent uh -huh. is 1500 or only a small apartment, a small apartment, $600. Mm -hmm. Wow. For one person. <laughs> One and person the food and the transportation mm -hmm. and the clothes. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why right. it's, it's, it's a lot of money, but if mm -hmm. you're in the country, it's nothing. Yeah, the expense mm -hmm. is a lot of tour. Yes, that's why Nicaragua and Costa Rica and Panama have a lot of Americans that live in the countries. Mm -hmm. 
because the money they receive the they receive the pension, but they move to another country. Another country. So for mm -hmm. them, imagine like in El Salvador. In El Salvador, you receive two thousand dollars a month. Ah, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's good yeah. salary. Yeah, but the, mm -hmm. in he or she has it put down. In the U.S., is nothing. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit, a little bit more than the minimum. Wow. Because the minimum mm -hmm. is one thousand six hundred dollars a month, ten dollars an hour. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the minimum salary. Minimum yeah. salary. Imagine right? in El Salvador, what is the minimum salary? You don't, it's months. difficult to survive mm -hmm. with the minimum, but the yeah. same idea for the U.S. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so today we, as we are realizing our topic for this week, our topic for these days is speaking. Now, as we saw yesterday, it's really different, completely different. I speak with Gino, with Nuri, with Roxy, and I speak for the exam, right? Right, okay. Yeah. Speaking for the exam is, is, is like a job. You have to plan, you have to organize, you have to be clear what is the function. What are you going to do? Because if not, it's going to be a problem when you have to speak. That's why it's important always, 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 first, the 15 seconds. No, I just said no. Think, <laughs> be clear, try to use different connectors, different topics. Try to organize the different things, because if not, it, it will be a little bit of an issue. Okay, so today the same activity, we're going to try to practice with our partner. Remember, we're going to ask our partners. Um, I think, Gino. I think Gino didn't. Gino, did you come yesterday? I think maybe not. Yeah. Right, and Gino didn't come, and yeah, Alex. Alex, I think didn't yeah. come. Right, ask, ask them. <laughs> Yes, those are the two that didn't come. <laughs> the reason is, is because the technique is different, okay? So okay. you have 15 seconds to prepare, and then you have to answer the question. We're going to do one example. So before you make the groups, you can see. So I'm going to, we're going to ask a question, and then we're going to pass. First, I'm going to put the links in the chat that we have the links to ask the questions. One moment. Let me copy the links and put into the chat. The same day yesterday, teach? Uh, almost the same. One, okay. we have a di one different. We have one different, okay. but almost the same. Okay. So there we have three different links. All of the links give you different topics. The topic is your selection, but we are going to do one example for you to see. So in this moment, Luis is going to ask Nuri and Nuri is going to demonstrate the correct way on how to answer the question in the TOEFL exam. Okay, Alex? Okay, Gino? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Luis, are you ready? with your topic and the question to ask Nuri. Okay. okay. Nuri, do you remember the process? Yes, but okay. yesterday. All right, excellent. Okay. okay. But, Alex, but I don't... the first 15 seconds, you don't speak. The first okay. 15 seconds is you have to think about and organize. And then in the exam, you're going to hear beep. And in this moment, you begin recording. Okay. You do not make the decision. The computer automatically records. If you speak, good. If you don't speak, you lose the points. Okay. Okay. But is that is that at the, the three things? Is that list number one, two, or three? Uh, we have in the chat we have a three links. Yes. The any link that you want. The link is not important. Only for the you select the different topics. Oh, okay. Whatever topic you want. In this moment, Luis select any link and is going to demonstrate with Nuri how to practice with our partners. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. okay. Luis, Nuri. Okay. Hi, Nuri. Could you, <laughs> Hi. Could you please talk about a uh, gift? Gift. The gift when you give something in the party, for example. 
Ajá. Ok. Could you gift? repeat? Ah, could you talk about gift? Any gift? Uh, gift about me, gift. about Ajá. gift. Ajá, okay. gift. Uh. Ajá. It's time, teacher? No. No. Look. Okay. No time. Okay. Go. Okay. For me, it's important to have a, a present or a gift for, for when we, we go to the party or uh, maybe a graduation or a something special day. Because uh, here in, in our country, is is um is um um it's like a cult cultural cultural to do that and in the United States um, they gave a gift from Christmas Eve and um okay thank you very much out. thank you very much don't worry <laughs> That is the example, Gina, Gino and Alex. As you seen, after Luis asked the question, you have 15 seconds to think about the idea because that's how it is in the exam. You have 15 seconds. Then you have to speak for 45 seconds. The idea is in the 15 seconds, try to expand and not have a normal conversation. You want to compare, contrast, give examples, uh, for example, the best gift I received, the worst gift, a gift that I think is good for men, for women, for children. Do you want to expand the topic as much as possible? So whatever question your partner asks you, but you want to expand. Here, we're going to give you one example uh, so that you can get an idea uh, of how it sounds. And then we're going to go to practice with our partners. So in okay. this moment is... We practiced yesterday, but here is, as an example, what you're going to hear and see on the exam, okay? This okay. is something that you would see or hear on the exam. Two, please listen carefully. <clears throat> if you could donate a large amount of money for scientific or medical research, how would you want the money to be used? Describe one important area in need of more research. Explain how your money could make a difference in that field of research. You may begin to prepare your response after the beep. In this time, you have to organize your ideas and answer the questions specifically. No, whatever topic, you have to answer the questions. Please begin speaking after the beep. And then in this moment, you have to begin recording because the computer in the exam begin recording, 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 and you have 45 seconds and then you hear another beep and this finish the recording. This is the most difficult part because it's not normal like when you speak with your partner for fun. When I speak to Miguel, Miguel, how was your day? Miguel mm -hmm. not, doesn't wait. Miguel begins speaking. But in the exam is not correct. If you begin speaking in the exam, you lose points because then I know I, I have to return and you lose your idea. You get disorganized. So today we're going to practice with our partners the same example like Luis and Nuri. Any questions? No. Teacher, I have a question about the exam. Yes, Gino. Uh, when we are taking the exam, uh, are we allowed to bring a, a paper and pencil? Uh, for I was thinking that maybe uh, since you have 15 seconds to prepare for the answer, maybe you can draw like a a, a flow chart of the topics you wanna uh, you wanna talk about during those 45 seconds. Yes, it is correct. You may create a flow chart. You may create the topic at least the main ideas because you will not have time to make sentences but yes you will have time for the flow chart for example that question okay what topic okay cancer research cancer research for children uh expand for the and this is how you make quickly 15 seconds so when you are speaking 
you can organize and talk more about your ideas. This is what you need to practice. You need to yes. practice today this technique. Not only, I déjame pensar. Déjame, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Start practicing because it's an academic speech that you have to do. It's not only a personal opinion. You have to give uh, facts, data, information. You have to try to give as much uh, vocabulary and connectors as possible. Okay? Yes. So in the link, you have three, or in, sorry, in the chat, you have three links. You select any link that you want, any topic, but when you speak, speak clearly to your partner for the question. Do not explain the question because in the exam, your partner is not going to receive an explanation. Your partner is going to receive the question and they have to understand or not understand. That is the important part. Okay. Okay. We're okay. going to practice a few times. We're going to have 10 minutes to practice and then we're going to do here with our partners. So remember, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, the idea for our partners to practice and then we try together to make sure it's clear for everyone. Okay. No more questions? No. Okay.
Okay, guys, are we ready? Yes. Excellent. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see. All right. We're going to start off with Alex. Alex, please ask Miguel. Uh, Miguel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, Miguel. Uh, do you believe there is other life in the universe? How about you? intelligence life what do you think exists or exist the aliens miguel go hey, hello, Alex. yes <clears throat> for in my opinion there exists another another life in the universe Nowadays, uh, some reports say that aliens exist. There are evidence for many for, for many years ago. We have evidence that uh, that the aliens existed in the past. I, I don't know why the United States uh, had to hide have to hide the the, the evidence of the, 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 the aliens. But for me, <clears throat> I think in the future will be a revelation that the aliens exist. And I don't know what happened with the, about the thing it told, because there is a truth, because there is the proof that the aliens has visiting this this planet. They have a a lot okay. of uh, photographs. Stop. All right, very good, very good, Miguel. I like the fact that you're trying to expand and have a lot of answers. What we need to do is, in order to get more points, you need to be careful with the pauses and the Spanish. There is moment where you use uh, expressions in Spanish or pauses. Don't. This is for the frustration. This is for, I, 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 no, no, no. You have to learn how to control it because in the moment you have another, they say, I don't know, lose points, lose points because the idea is the evaluation in English. But okay. very good, very good. Okay. So remember, try to speak with the same way, the same details of everything, but no Spanish and more fluently, okay? All right, Miguel, now you ask Gino. Let me choose a question. <sighs> okay, okay, Gino, about secrets. How many secrets do you have? Go. I'm sorry, I was muted. So that's a really tough question, Miguel. Uh, I think that uh, as a person, I try to be uh, as transparent as I can be. Uh, I try to be uh, truthful all the time. However, uh, I'm pretty sure that everyone uh, Everyone, like maybe not uh, consciously, but uh, has has or have some secrets. Uh, maybe stuff you, you did in the past that you're probably not proud of, or uh, or things that happened that it's, it scarred you for life. And probably okay. you, that Thank that's yeah. Thank you so okay. much, Gino. Thank you so much. All right, Gino. Good job. I like that you tried to come up with the floor chart. You tried to come up with the different ideas two areas that we can improve. One of them is the buffers. A lot of a, a, a. So we need to have a better idea of what we want to say. And I think this, the second part was uh, what, what kind of changed you or affected you was that your microphone was on mute. And then that you begin and then I know, and then you get distracted and try to get back into the rhythm, but that's okay. That's why we practice now. So that when you have the exam, you are prepared for the technical difficulties. You are prepared for the situations. That way, in class, is no problem. But in the exam, you want the maximum points. All right. So now, Gino, you're going to ask Marvin. Okay? You are going to ask Marvin. My dear Marvin, so here's the question. Uh, what should you do? Uh, 
when an earthquake hits uh, and you're working? Okay, Marvin. Uh, earthquake, I will, I do that, follow the instruction that we have learned in my office that the first of all, to stay calm, stay calm, and then put my hands above my head to cover my hair, and then try to get, uh, to find the get, uh, get out of the office, and do not run or scream or something like that because in that case, we make the situation worse. That if we get calm, we try to put all in orders. Okay, stop right there. Very good. Thank you very much, Marvin. Good job. Marvin, two things that you did very well. One, you use the process correctly. Anytime you have to explain is correct. Use the vocabulary for process first, then next. Very nice. Uh, then you associate it with something personally. Now, it's also important is what would you do and what yeah, if you have any experience? Ah, I have, I haven't, and the things. So not only the process, but try to create a story where you include life experiences or possibilities to show other vocabulary like models. Okay? All right. Okay, Marvin. You are going to ask Roxana. Okay. Roxana. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> About uh, animals. Okay. Animals. Uh, animals. What animal best represent you and why? Um. Go, Roxana. <laughs> um, no, well, uh, I don't know, this. <laughs> so, well, I, I don't, I don't know. Oh, no, I, I don't know what what I say about animal that represent me. I, I don't think about it. And I consider oh, no rabbit. I like rabbit, and I like um, because they are cute. And I consider many people like rabbits. Okay. And Stop. <laughs> no, no problem. No problem. Thank you very much. Roxy. Thank you very much, Roxy. Thank you for trying. I know that it's not a normal topic. It's not something you talk about. But two things. Number one, you have 15 seconds to prepare. The exam does not evaluate your opinion. This is number one. It is not a real conversation. It does not matter what animal. I you forget select. that point. <laughs> it's not important because you want yeah. to answer like we are friends. Like, I, de verdad, no interesa. No, the person doesn't care. You pick okay. penguin, elephant, giraffe, rat whatever you want, it, the animal is not important. They only evaluate your English level. That's the most important part is not a conversation because I feel, I hear your tone. You're like, oh, no, I don't know. Let me think. I, I, <laughs> and I feel you really want yeah. to answer. But no, it's not really the answer. The idea is you need to practice your English and demonstrate the usage of English. Okay, Roxy? Okay, okay. All right, no problem. Next time we do better, don't worry. Next time we do better. Roxy, you are going to ask Luis Molina. Luis Molina, okay, Luis Molina. Uh, what do you think? I, I asked Miguel this, this, this question. What do you think about social media? How advantage and disadvantages? What do you think?
go. Okay. Uh, all, all depend that, that you can use uh, social media because uh, the people nowadays uh, use, use uh, the social media for personally, right? But uh, you can use uh, an advertising, for example, right? Yeah. But it's very important to use uh, a smartphone too, right? Because you can uh, you can have a, a smartphone in any place and anywhere, right? It's very important uh, to use the social media and and the business, for example, right? You can use uh, that that area or um, use personal, but uh, sometimes. Okay. Thank you very much, Luis. Very nice. Okay, Luis, I like that you're talking about the topic social media, you're expressing your ideas, you have complete sentences. Luis, you have to be careful with your expression. You are using an expression many times. Five times you use the word right, right? And the idea is you are have to make sure that you make a sentence a little bit with less expressions and more vocabulary connectors. So instead of trying to connect with right, use another one. So such as, for example, therefore, on the other hand, furthermore, you want to use the words that connect your ideas. Not only we use it because you are going to, right now you feel that you are speaking to the partner, but you are not going to speak to a partner. You're going to speak to a computer and then they're going to check the exam later. So you, you are not going to hear the question like in the partner, it's going to be the computer voice, okay? Good job, Luis. But remember, try to make different vocabulary for connecting, for connecting, okay? I think we have one more. I think Luis, you, are, you have to ask Alexander and that is the last one. Alexander, uh, could you please talk about the, the soccer? Go. Okay, hello, Luis Molina. I like the soccer. Right now I am a uh, follow uh, Real, uh, Real Al Atlético de Madrid, uh, PSG, uh, Manchester United, and I like the soccer. Really, you know, sometimes when I, I feel that a match with, for example, Atlético Madrid and Real Madrid, I say in my mind, hey, I would like to Win the Atletico Madrid, and I know that Real Madrid sometimes is is the best, is better than Atletico Madrid. But I try, and I would like, I would like to uh, watch that match because I feel good and try to spend my time when I have a, a, a free time. Okay, I, thank uh, you very much. Very nice. Thank you very much. All right, Alex. Good job, Alex. Very nice. Uh, that's a good job in delivery. You would get extra points for the delivery. Delivery is that change of intonation, change for emotion, not only like a robot with all the same tone. That is very good. You lose points, Alex, for using Spanish letters. When you are explaining, the name is okay, but you say R uh, R B uh, hey, uh, R D, and you say the uh, you are. PSG. You are mixing your Spanish and oh. your English together. So, yes, you get the points for delivery, but you lose the points for not knowing the alphabet in English. Or maybe not knowing, but not, uh, not saying the alphabet correctly in English. Okay. okay? Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, Gino, I see Gino has his hand up. Tell me, Gino. Yes, teacher, uh, about what you just said. For instance, when we are using Spanish words, do we have to use the, the Spanish pronunciation or do we have to use the English pronunciation? If it's a proper word, you use the Spanish pronunciation. For example, if they say, tell me about your favorite food. My favorite food is pupusas. Pupusas are corn and ah, but pupusas is the name. So you use the Spanish word. But if the word has a word in English, you have to use the word in English. As an example, 
I, I really enjoy papaya. No, papaya, you have to have, or aguacate. No, aguacate has avocado. It, there is an English word. So if the word does not exist in English, you use the correct name in Spanish. Okay. But if the word exists in English, then no, you have to use the English version. That, that's why it's okay with names. Uh, Simon, uh, what's your favorite story? Simon, like what else out? Because this is the name of the story. You can't change it. But for the others, you have to be careful. Uh, teacher, I have a question. Yes, Alex. What, what happened with Mirna Barahona? I don't know. I don't remember who asked Mirna Barahona. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Thanks. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, thank, well, Alex, thank you so Here, much. I apologize. I, I didn't pay attention correctly. Thank you. Alex, please, because you are so focused in helping your partners. Alex, please ask Mirna Barahona <laughs> the question so that she can participate also. Okay. Hello, Mirna. I have a question. What do you think about the adopted, adopted uh, uh, song, a, a girl or boy? What do you think in El Salvador is uh, exists the adoption? Yes, uh, I think I, I have to hope and organize ideas. I forgot. <laughs> and I think. Go. I think El Salvador is um, an opportunity to families that cannot have babies. And I think. Uh, Yes, it exists the possibility to, to adopt the children. And I think it's an opportunity to children have a, a good family and give a lot of needs that they need. Um, I think it's really important that children have a family to- Okay, stop. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Mirna. Thank you very much. All right, Mirna, good job for expressing about a difficult topic. Um, one a couple of things that we need to work on is different vocabulary. You are expressing your ideas, great, but do not use the same word. I think, I think, I think, I think. It's very repetitive and it demonstrates that you don't have enough vocabulary to get more points for the vocabulary. The second part is not only go slowly, Remember, you want to expand outside. What do you think personally? What do you think emotionally, religiously, economically, international relations? That way you can expand your ideas. And the third one is, is only because we are the practice, but yes, you have to wait the 15 seconds. Do not begin speaking because if you begin speaking and then you hear, Begin recording. I know, and, and, and I know it's going to be recorded. <laughs> it is not going to be recorded. So be careful. Bless you, Gino. So guys, just be careful with that. Okay. 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 Now we're going to go back again. We're going to practice with our partners. Try to implement not only what I tell you about you, but what you heard about the other partners to make your speaking better. The main techniques, organize, expand into different areas and use different vocabulary. Do not repeat the same vocabulary and try to be careful with the words that you use like ah, uh, eh, mm, or pausing in the middle. Okay? Okay. Any questions? I teach. No. no question. Okay. So one more time, we'll have uh, 10 minutes. We'll go with our partners and then we'll come back and practice.
Nuri, I'll put you in the group. Don't worry, I know you had some internet problems.
Okay. We're okay. Any questions? No. No? Don't worry. The most important is that we try and we practice and we practice so that when you have to speak, it makes it easier for you. Okay. Okay. Good. So tell me, what are a couple of things that we learned? What do you need to think about and how can you organize yourself to get more points in the exam? I, I think the most important is focus in the question. Mm -hmm. Because if you, I, if you are focused, okay, I have the idea. And sometimes I think the 15 seconds is enough or maybe it's too much because sometimes maybe, hey, Gino, do you remember why uh, Real Madrid is the be is better than the Atletico Madrid? Right now, maybe Gino, he have, uh, he have the answer. It's not necessary, not ne it's not a need more time. Yes, this, this is the, where you are a little bit different than speaking with a natural person, right? That in the natural person, you go immediately, but here, no. You are ready, you are not ready, is the begin with the time. Gino? Yes, I, I think uh, one important thing we were talking and discussing with Miguel is that uh, you have only 15 seconds, which is a, a, a really small time, and you have 45 seconds. And depending on, on how much you can talk, uh, it, it will be like, or really small time or really long time. For I, I think a, a good a strategy might be to, when you hear the, the question, to think one or two like uh, answers. And uh, for instance, uh, Miguel asked me some, uh, something about my parents using computers. And uh, my, my thought process was, okay, I'm gonna talk about my dad and my mom. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna like uh, merge the, que the, the answer uh, with a proposition. Uh, and that, that, that's what I, I wrote, like in the 15 seconds preparing. And, uh, but I didn't have, like, I got carried, carried away and was talking too much. And uh, he had to like cut my answer. I think that the, one of the tr trickiest part of this exercise is to, to know when you have to like, uh, to, to, to be like a, a thoughtful of the time you have. And, and not like talk too much because you're gonna have an answer that it's gonna be like uh, in half. Okay, very good. Now, now that it's good that both of you mentioned it, what is expected of you? On average, it is expected that you make 12 sentences of more or less in 45 seconds. On average, you are expected to make eight sentences every 30 seconds. Now, of course, can you have eight sentences and still get a good score? Yes, because it has to do more with the details and the vocabulary used than the sentence. Because if you have 12 sentences, but I like pupusas, I like pizza, I like uh, ice cream, I like, you're not going to get a lot of points. You can have 20 sentences, but they're not good sentences. So the idea is you should try to have eight clear, long, detailed sentences in the time. The goal is 45. The minimum is eight. That is where you should go. Why? Because eight is not super slow, but is not like a native. 12 is more like a native, but if you have short details or not good description, it is not a good way to do it. So it's a matter of balancing. Some topics are easy for you because it's very common. Some topics are not. That's why it's important, like in the class, the difficult questions that we practice, like hey, what animal do you associate? What do you think about adop adoption? All of these are very good because these are questions that you have to think that are not typical in any language. It's not that you go to work or you go to your partner or the, the office. Hey, Marvin, hey, what do you think? No, it's not a normal conversation. Uh, so this is important. It's not all... Oh, 
Uh, Miguel, what do you think about the colonization of the euro in, huh? What? It is not a common topic. So this is the idea to continue practice. And remember, the more difficult for your partner, the more prepared your partner, the easier the question, the less prepared your partner is going to be. So it's not bad to give a difficult question. It's good that way when your partner is in the exam, ah, difficulties, no problem. I practice already in the class. Okay. Sure, I have a question. Yeah, Roxy. In the TOEFL exam, you can read the, the question, right? Like an exercise in the platform. Because sometimes when you read, when you listen the, the question, sometimes you uh, don't understand some word that is common for you, but you listen in, in another way uh, uh, for the pronunciation of the, the, the someone says, but in the exam, you can read. Correct, uh, you will have both. During, during the, the both, you during will this have both. 15 and read. seconds. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thank you so much for connecting. We will practice again tomorrow. Uh, okay. Think about the techniques and we will try to implement them more again tomorrow. Excellent. Okay, okay guys, have a nice thank night. You. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.